Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And as you know, when we're not out on an adventure, we're here bringing you travel news. So what you have for us today, Alan? Well, Shug, I think today we're gonna to talk about what cruising looks like during COVID. Okay. Okay, so we've been on five cruises now since COVID started. Yes, we have. And uh, it's quite a bit different. I almost forgot what it's like to cruise before COVID. I know. You know, just because it's we've been doing this now for, for almost two years. So our first cruise back was Alaska. Okay. Uh, that yeah. was the first cruise going to Alaska. Yes. Uh, since COVID started. So basically, we're going to go over a few things with you, give you our take on what we think cruising looks like right now. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't been on a cruise ship since COVID started, you'll have a, an idea what to look for. Yeah. So number one, you got to be vaccinated. Uh, you yes. got to have your second dose. If you have a second dose, like Johnson & Johnson, you don't need a second dose. You've got to have that at least 14 days before you sail. When you go to the cruise ship, you don't actually have to have your vaccine card. You can have it digital inside your phone. They'll take that as well. Which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, less stuff that you got to carry. Yeah. Your boarding pass can be digital. Your COVID shot can be digital. You basically just, and I'm assuming you need to bring the printout of your test. Uh, we haven't. Uh, we haven't yeah. seen anything different, so we always bring the printout. We also bring our physical um, vaccination cards just in case somebody wants the physical card. But you never know. Uh, yeah, nobody's needed it so far. So you also have to get a COVID test um, at two days prior to sailing, two days or less. Can't be more than two days prior to sailing. Um, that's for everybody in the vaccination card, the vaccine. Mm -hmm. That's for everybody 12 years and older. So under 12 years, it depends on the cruise line, the port you're going out yeah. of, the ports that you're going to. So for under 12 years, you're going to want to check with your, your particular cruise line and see what their requirements are. You know, again, depending on the ports that they're going to. Right. So you got to have your vaccine card. You got to have your proof of a negative COVID test. Mm -hmm. You got to have your passport or your birth certificate. Yes. You have those things and you're ready to go. Okay, so the check-in process, I mean, it's relatively the same, you know, besides the additional documentation that you need to bring. Um, when you do mm -hmm. check in, they give you a COVID bracelet that shows that, that you've had your vaccine. And you must leave it on the whole cruise. If they see without it, you know, well, actually, if you're getting off for an excursion, they will send you back. Yeah, they won't let you off the boat for an excursion if you don't have that bracelet on. So when you when you go through the, the check-in, the boarding process, they give you the bracelet, they tell you to tighten it, but don't tighten it too much because yes. it's it's hard to untighten it. There's like a little metal clamp on I there. I don't think you can untighten it. Um, well, <laughs> if you pull hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's difficult. So, you know, don't put it on too tight when you do put it on. Um, also, before you board the boat, there are safety questions that you've got to answer, wellness questions. Um, you can do that in the app. You're going to want to download the app for your particular cruise mm -hmm. line. Uh, most of the stuff that we're giving you right now is for Royal Caribbean. Those are the cruises that we've taken since we've been back on okay. Royal Caribbean, but they're all relatively the same. So you're going to want to answer those wellness questions. When you get to the boat, <clears throat> there's uh, safety questions that you got to answer or, or watch, I should say. There's a video that you watch about how to put on your life vest. There's the, the ship horn, the, that emergency horn, yeah. you know, if there's something going on, you know, that that sounds. Uh, there's a little audio file that you play that plays that so you, you know what it sounds like. And then the third thing is your muster station. You've got to go to your muster station and check in. Uh, it used to be back in the day where, and this is like oh. the only good thing that came out of COVID. Yeah. yeah, back in the day, you had like everybody, everybody. at that muster station, yes. and you had to stand there, and you had to listen to everything, and it, it, it sucked. And everybody's like yeah. squished together. So, obviously, with COVID, you don't do that now. You, you watch the videos and stuff beforehand, and then you go to your muster station. They scan your, your room key card or your it. boarding pass, you know, paper that you printed out if you haven't gone to your room yet, and then you're all done. Yeah. So when you do go to your room, if you go there first... Um, they've got a safety, they've got the same safety stuff on the TV. There's, you know, there's your guide and different, different options on the TV. One of them is safety where you can watch the video mm -hmm. for putting on your life jacket. You can do the, the horn sound, play that video and it will register that you've done that. So I've got a screenshot up here or over there <laughs> of what that looks like on the TV. 
So if you don't want to do it on your phone, you can do it that way as well. Yeah. We recommend you know doing it on your phone. It's just quicker and easier. I play those things as soon as I get on the boat when I'm sitting down making reservations on the app yeah. for dining and, and shows and stuff that I'm going to watch. So I take care of all that. But again, once you've watched the video for the, the life jackets and, and, and played the audio file for the, the cruise horn and then got your muster station, you're all set. You can roam around the boat and do whatever it is that you, you want to do. Yeah. Okay, as far as social distancing goes, uh, it's hit or miss. When we first started going back, the the shows, the main theater, they had seats blocked off so that right. you weren't sitting next to anyone else. Um, you know, as more and more people started going back to cruising, you know, we saw that go away. Our last cruise, Mexico cruise, they didn't have any anything like that. The seats, like in the ice skating rink, or the last, actually the last cruise we were on, we couldn't even book anything in the main theater. But the cruise before that, they didn't have any seats blocked out. Mm -hmm. You could sit right next to somebody else. Uh, you know, common courtesy, I guess, people were putting like a seat or two in between each yeah. other, but there were no seats that were blocked. So elevators, it's a max of, I believe, five people in the yeah. elevator. Uh -huh. um, to be honest, nobody <laughs> nobody really follows that. You know, yeah. you'll always have somebody come up and say, hey, can you squeeze two more people in? Oh, sure, why not? Come yes. on in. You know, but it's a choice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, nobody nobody really follows that. Uh, masks, of course, masks are required indoors at all times, unless you're in your stateroom. Right. If you're outside, if you're in a large group, you're supposed to wear a mask as well. Outside of that, you can roam around freely without your mask. Uh, main dining room, you wear your mask going through there. When you're actively mm -hmm. eating or drinking, you can take your take mask off. off. So Windjammer, um, every cruise that we've been on since COVID started, they, they still have every other table blocked off. Yes. So, um, you know, the tables, every other table's blocked off. You don't have to worry about sitting next to somebody else. Um, they're still, they're getting your food for you. You still cannot get your own food. So, you know, there's there's not as many plate stations where they give out plates either. Yeah, that's what's different. Yeah, you got to yeah. go hunting for a plate. Yeah. So. so once they give you your plate and your napkins, you go and, you know, there are people back there. You tell them what, what you want and they, they get it for you. And I, to be honest, I kind of like that I better. like it way better. Yeah, you don't have to worry about every person coming behind you and touching the spoons, touching the fork. So I like it personally that they serve us. Yeah. Also, <clears throat> when you get into the wind jammer, they scan your room card when you go in and they scan it when yeah. you go out for contact tracing. So, you know, they're keeping an eye on everybody. If somebody does come up with, with COVID, you know, they can tell where you were at, you know, for exactly. a good part of your day and who you've interacted with. So be prepared to get your room card out and have it scanned when you go in. And when you go out. Yeah. We, when we first started doing it, I'd take mine out. She'd take hers out now. She just takes her card out. We just say we're in the same room and because yeah. I think that makes it easier. If you're in the same state or room, then, yeah. you know. Yeah, we're pretty much, we're together all the time, so mm -hmm. we're not really separated. And, of course, when you're going in the wind jammer, you always have to wash your hands. You know, they've got people there, if you've watched our videos, washy, you know, sing, singing songs, washy-washy, <laughs> soapy-soapy. <laughs> so, you know, there's there's people there that make it entertaining. They're, they're good people. They're funny. But you yes. got to wash your hands when you're going into the wind jammer. So as far as capacity goes, it's kind of changed. When we went on our first cruise for Alaska, it was very light. We thought we were kind of surprised. Yeah. You know, there. I think it was booked to around 50% or so. Um, as cruising, you know, continued on, um, the capacity started to grow. I think when Delta first hit, like capacities, ship capacity started dropping again as to how many passengers were on there. And then after Delta had been around a little while, um, capacities went back up. Yeah. I think our... Uh, our cruise before this Mexico cruise, it was like 80%. I think so. Yeah, yeah it was like 80%, so it was pretty high. And now with Omicron here, you know, it uh, seems like it's cutting back down again. The The cruise we just went on, the Mexico cruise, it was a, just a little over 20%. That's, yes. you know, it was a ghost town on there. The ship held like, I think like 4,000 passengers and the captain said there was about 820 yeah, so passengers on the ship so yeah i mean it was so we're talking was, under 900 passengers you know so yeah it was yeah. it was a ghost town it was very odd you know i mean i kind of like it you know when you go to the yeah. to the windjammer to get food you don't have to wait in the line oh, you just no. walk up to whatever station you want and and get your food it was um, really empty in there yeah like you could look around and tables were empty yeah yeah main dining room um, you didn't have to worry about sitting next to somebody else. The cruise before that that we took that was booked to roughly 80%, we sat right next to somebody on each side of us, felt kind of uncomfortable. 
um, you know, but I mean, it was okay. So, but like I said, our last cruise, yeah. So it seems like, you know, I don't know if it's people that are canceling or, or what the deal is. I can't imagine that the, the ship we were just on was booked to only 20%. I know Royal Caribbean stopped taking reservations, you know, just a little while ago, but I would have assumed it would have been booked higher than that. So I honestly think people... A lot of cancellations. People are canceling. So as far as, as feeling safe on a cruise, how, how do you feel when you're on a, on a cruise? I actually feel safe. Um, I have no problems, you know. Our room, we actually sanitize. I bring Lysol, so I feel good in there. We're wearing the wind jammer. You're sanitizing as we come in. You know, we're never in a large group, so right. I feel good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and same thing for me. You know, I feel really good about cruising. I feel very safe, the the Royal Caribbean at least, and I'm sure all the other cruise lines are the same. You know, they, they're they very um, safety conscious. You know, they're just, they're, they're talking about it. They're sanitizing stations everywhere you go. They're making announcements over the intercoms, yeah. you know, about wearing your mask properly, keeping your mask on. So, you yeah. know, we've got another cruise coming up in a couple of months. You know, we're not going to cancel that. Um, we might even get one in before that. We'll see. But yeah, we're not looking to cancel any cruises. We feel mm -hmm. we feel very safe. So we're vaccinated. We wear our masks. We sanitize all the time. And we're boosted. And we're boosted. You know, I think that's coming too at some point, probably. You know, and we'll put a video out for that if, if that does come around. But yeah, like I said, I, I feel that cruising right now is, is as safe as going to Walmart or, uh, or Target, you know? Yes. You know, we all could, know what it could be like going to those stores. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, you know... Of course, you've got to make your own decisions on, on whether you want to, you know, whether you feel safe or not. But again, our our opinion, you know, cruising is very safe right now. You know, as long as you're conscious of what you're doing, you know, mm -hmm. keep hand sanitizing your hands and wear your wear face your mask, mask and just, you know, be aware of what's going on around you. You know, <laughs> if we sit next to somebody or, or in a vicinity of somebody that's coughing a lot, we always move. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I kind of cringe, even though it's from a distance. It's just hearing somebody cough or yeah. sneeze, and yeah, and everyone's got to cough. I know, time, but still, I know, I cough too, yeah. so I really try hard to hold it in, though. <laughs> but yeah, if we hear somebody coughing, we'll move to another table, you know. But like I said, we're just we're just very aware of what's going on around us. So you know, we feel cruising is very safe right now, as safe as anything else, if not safer, because they put a lot more time and energy into it. Oh yeah. So, but yes. you know, like we said, you guys got to make your own decisions. Of um, if you've noticed anything else that's changed in cruising, if you've gone cruising since COVID started, put it in the comments below and oh, let yeah. us know what Would you've love noticed. To it's hear different. It. Yes. Yeah. So also as usual, like I always always say, please don't forget to to subscribe to our channel, yes. hit the notification bell and the like button. It helps our channel out immensely and we really appreciate it. We're trying to build our subscriber base. So thank you to the people that have already subscribed. And if Thank you're new to our channel, please subscribe so you can get future content. Check out some of our videos that we've posted on some of the places that we've been so you can get a visual of what it looks like going right. crazy right now during COVID. So I think that's it. I think so. All right. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.